Good day, everybody. How are we doing? Today, we are going to talk about a problem on application of Rolle's theorem. I went over a video in which I explained how to uh, prove Rolle's theorem. So here we will apply Rolle's theorem to solve a problem. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Find the two x intercepts of the function f and show that f prime x is equal to zero at some point between the two intercepts. So f of x is equal to x square minus x minus two. Solution f of x is equal to x square minus x minus two. We are going to factor this quadratic expression. So you will split up the minus x into two parts. One is plus x and another is minus two x. So minus 2x plus x gives you minus x. So we write x squared plus x minus 2x minus 2. Then from the first two terms, we take the factor x common outside and inside the parenthesis, we have x plus 1. And from the last two terms, we take the factor minus 2 out as the common factor, greatest common factor. And we are left with x plus 1 inside the parenthesis. So eventually x squared minus x minus two is factored into two factors, x plus one and x minus two. Hence, x intercepts are when x plus one is equal to zero or x equal to minus one and x minus two equal to zero or x is equal to two. When x is equal to minus one, f of x is equal to zero. Hence, the intercept is minus one zero. The intercept where the function cuts the x-axis is at the point minus one zero. When x equal to two, f of x equal to zero, and the intercept is two zero, okay? Now let's do the first derivative of x. x. So f prime x is equal to derivative with respect to x, x square minus x minus two, which is two x minus one. Now f prime x is equal to zero when two x minus one is equal to zero or two x equal to one and dividing by two on both sides, x is equal to half. So f prime x is equal to zero at x equal to half, which is between minus one zero and two zero, okay? So that's the solution. So the f first derivative of fx with respect to x is zero at x equal to half. And that point falls between minus one zero and two zero. So we have proved what we are set out to prove, what, what we are asked to prove, okay? That there's some point between the two intercepts where f prime x equal to zero. I will stop here today. If you have any question, write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I come back every week with new problems, new solutions. Take care. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. See you next time.